pretty quick. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're gonna be going over a 2022 Mazda Miata Grand Touring with a special new interior. First and foremost, though, a huge shout out and thank you to the Mazda of Southtown, Utah for giving me some time with this Miata. I'm gonna include a link to their inventory in the description down below. And if you're wondering, this Miata is actually available for sale right now. So if you're interested, reach out to them. Let's get right into the video. So under the hood, we have a Nacho aspirated two liter four cylinder that goes through a six speed manual transmission. Now fuel economy is 26 around town and then 34 on the highway with power outputs being 181 horsepower and then 151 pound feet of torque. Now let's go over the front end of the Miata. So first off, you have the elongated hood, which I've always been a huge fan of. Obviously the lights pop up. As soon as I'm about to talk about them, you guys saw them for a brief second. We've got the projector bulbs with the accent light off to the side. And then you guys can see here with more accenting down below. And then you have the signature front grille here with the Mazda logo at the top. Um, since they've released this generation of Miata, they haven't changed a whole lot with the looks, but they really don't need to because it's a really good looking car. And also I love how this is black down here because it contrasts the white on this particular car. And yeah, that's the front end. So coming around the side here, we've got 205 millimeter tires wrapped around 17 inch wheels in the front and also in the rear as well. And then you guys can see the design here on the wheels looks absolutely fantastic. And I feel like it matches kind of like the luxury theme of the Grand Touring uh, Miata. And a great thing about this tire and wheel setup is it's very inexpensive to replace the uh, tires, right? With only 17 inch wheels and then 205 millimeter tires. Well, maybe you have to replace them. Yeah, really inexpensive. Got a little turn signal there on the side with an indicator, right? And then you guys can see the mirrors are body painted. And then here is your full side view on the Miata. I've got the top down. It's like 25 degrees outside right now, but you know what? I'm gonna attempt to uh, rock the top down driving because it's a Miata. So here's the key fob for the Miata. You got the Mazda logo on the front. We have our lock, unlock, and then we have the opening here for the trunk. Just hold that down and it'll kind of lightly pop it open and then you just have to lift it up the rest of the way yourself. Now you guys can see that uh, cargo space back here is actually pretty decent for how tiny this car is. And with the soft top, you actually get a really decent cargo space. With the RF, uh, the cargo space is limited a little bit. Uh, but yeah, that's everything for the trunk. And so you just gotta close it back down. I love the uh, kind of actuation on the opening and closing with the trunk. It, it just feels really like sturdy. It's kind of hard to explain, but it does. Now let's finish things up here with the rear of the Miata. So first off, I love how we have an antenna and then also a shark fin right next to it. You guys can see all of the regular badges here on the back. We've got these signature tail lights here. And then you guys can see the exhaust tips poking out the bottom, another kind of signature of the Miata. And again, overall with this generation of car, I think it's just a really good looking car all around. Now here's the door panel at the front. So uh, first off, I love how they bring the body painted accent to the interior. I think that just looks absolutely fantastic. Also, the mirrors have blind spot monitoring. And then down below, we've got this beautiful black leather where you're gonna rest your arm. And then notice how we've got brown stitching. You guys will understand that in just a moment. And then look, you got a carbon fiber trim now. Got the window controls there with the mirror adjustments and we have the terracotta interior. So this is new for 22. You guys can see really nice uh, Napa leather and just look at the attention detail with the stitching and the perforations here. Just looks absolutely fantastic. And yeah, especially with this color combination with the white and the brown interior, I think it looks amazing. And then you guys can see the pedal layout just down below. Got our stability control right here. That is your lane departure. And yeah, there's one more look before we pop in. Now here's the steering wheel with the Miata. First off, you guys can see you've got beautiful leather all around the steering wheel, and then you've got really nice contrasted stitching here on the center portion. We've got this for the cruise control. On the other side, you've got information uh, for the center. You guys will see that in just a moment. We've got our volume and voice command controls, phone controls as well. We have our turn signal, light stock, windshield wiper stock, and yeah, really good looking steering wheel. Now here's the center gauge cluster itself. Notice that it's mostly analog gauges. I love how the RPMs are front and center, similar to what they have in like a Porsche 911, for example. And notice how they did like the three gauges, just like what you'd have on the uh, older Porsches. The newer Porsches have like way too many gauges. This three is like the perfect amount. Anyways, we've got this screen here off to the side. And remember there's an information button. You press that to go through uh, these different tabs here uh, with the car. And by the way, fuel economy is not accurate. This is a brand new car, so right, it hasn't been broken in and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but anyways, there is the center gauge cluster.
But here's the center infotainment system. First off, we're gonna pop it into reverse. I'll show you guys how to do that function in a moment. But notice we've got a backup camera here with the trajectory lines. Uh, and I mean, to be honest, this car doesn't really need a backup camera because it's so small, but it's it's cool that uh, it has it. Now, moving on from that to the rest of the infotainment system. Uh, first off, it is a touch screen. And you guys can see even here with uh, my gloves on, response time with the screen is actually really solid. I'm super impressed. Uh, with that so yeah Mazda definitely did a great job and I'm glad that it's a touchscreen because this interior is really small and so having this be a touchscreen uh, just it, it's great because it's easy access but also there's analog buttons so you can control it with a little dial I'll show that to you guys in just a moment so if you hate using touchscreens you have the analog format that you can use as well so they kind of have everything or they have a function for everyone basically We've got our climate controls down here this does have just a single zone climate and again small car so it doesn't need dual zone we've got heated seats here for the front which are going to come in clutch right now because it's freezing outside and you guys can see the extra storage space uh, now here's the shifter for that six speed manual transmission so reverse lockout is pushed down and then go over and then that'll go into reverse uh, and then in terms of the shifter itself you guys can see super uh, notchy uh, relatively short throws and we'll talk about this more in the driving portion but really love the uh, feel of the shifter got a brake right here and then these are the analog controls for the infotainment system with the volume control and then we have some extra storage space right here we've got the movable cup holders with uh, what is your glove box basically in the Miata you guys can see here with the uh, storage space back there and the reason that this is your uh, glove box with Miata is because there is not a glove box down here but look at the again attention to detail with the padding and then you guys can see the stitching and how that kind of connects to the door panel I definitely think this is like the nicest interior I've ever seen on a Miata so here's our window sticker for this 2022 Mazda Miata. Um, first off, you guys can see stuff with the standard equipment and the stuff that this uh, comes with. Um, so you guys can see we've got the Bilstein shocks here and then, well, sport tune suspension by Bilstein, but it's very important. We'll talk about that in the driving, see how that feels. Um, but you guys can see everything else that's standard. Feel free to freeze a frame if you wanna read through all of that fun stuff and it goes on to the other side. And then optional charges here. So. Um, the paint color and then also the interior is an optional charge $695 for an interior this nice and getting a custom interior I think that that is an absolute steal uh, anyways total MSRP $34,075 which uh, in today's world is very affordable Let's talk about visibility before we set off. There's your visibility over the hood. Both of the mirrors, which do have blind spot monitoring. And then throughout the rest of the rear. And let's quickly show the top function. So you just gotta lift this up. And then you've got like these little grab handles that you pull it forward. And then you basically just lock it in. And yeah, then you're done. And then the top is up. And yeah, pretty uh, straightforward function on it. But you know what, I'm gonna suffer for you guys. So we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna drive with the, uh, we're gonna drive with the top off today. So, um, Putting it back is just as easy. Again, just the lever, put it down, lock it, and then it's good to go. And well, let's watch me suffer. So we are about to set off here in the Miata. And the first thing that I'd like to mention is this car, because it's so small, it warms up so quickly. Again, it's cold outside, but again, it's already warm in here. Also notice it's displaying what gear I'm in there in the center, which, you know, Obviously, if you've driven a manual transmission for quite some time, it's helpful. But if this is your first time driving a manual in, you know, something like this, then it's 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 nice, right? Because then you're like, oh, I can see what gear I'm in, which is great. I forgot how good this car is to drive. <laughs> yes, I forgot how good the Miata is to drive. It's been it's been a almost a, I think it's been a year since I've driven one, and it's just such a fun car. Yeah, the gear shifts are perfect. Like it's it's just perfection. Rev match downshifting is super easy to do in this. Uh, so it doesn't have an auto blip system, but it doesn't need it. Uh, this uh, two liter four cylinder is actually pretty happy to uh, rev up and down, which is great. That's usually not something that uh, four cylinders do. Usually they're kind of uh, bad with uh, revving up and down. So I think that that's great that um, they've made it. So it's a really good system. pretty quick so again 181 horsepower and yeah 
it definitely gets up and moves. I feel like my point of view is not very good for you guys, so I'm gonna kind of lean the seat a little bit back. Hopefully that helps out a little bit so you guys can see this better. But yeah, this car is just so easy to drive. Uh, it's it's so easy to drive. Um, it's it's smooth, it's comfortable, and yeah, it's it's just one of those cars that you just, you pop in and it just, it feels natural, right? And that's something that I love about the uh, Miata is just, again, the, the natural feel of it and all that. And again, with these uh, downshifts, it's just super seamless. Yeah, really good with all of that, um, with the gear shifts and everything. And uh, this would be a, a very easy car to daily drive. So I haven't driven a manual, like I haven't owned a manual transmission in, over half a year and I haven't driven a manual transmission in quite some time and I feel like I can just pop into this and it feels natural some manual transmissions I have to you know take some time to kind of get used to uh, driving manual again whereas with this car I don't feel like that's the case I feel like again you can just hop in it and you can just pretty much drive it okay we're continuing along here <laughs> This thing is such a riot. It's, again, the steering's amazing too. That's another big plus is the steering with this car. Super precise. Like, it's it's pretty much just like you, you feel like you are connected with the car. Um, and then as for the uh, Bilstein uh, shocks we talked about a little bit earlier, it actually helps out the handling quite a bit. Uh, this still has like the normal Miata body roll that they kind of build into the car to uh, make it so it's a little bit more exciting to drive. You feel like you're driving on the edge all the time, kind of. Um, so it still has that, but it definitely feels like it handles a little bit tighter, actually. You can kind of you can kind of feel like the Grand Touring is supposed to be like a luxury package, and it, it accomplishes that. The seats are comfortable. It looks, you know, more on the luxury side, but from a driving perspective, it drives amazingly well it drives it it's super precise and it, it doesn't feel like you're conceding anything it doesn't feel like this is the you know heavy boat like miata right this feels pretty much uh just like you know super fun tossable car still uh and so overall the mazda miata is such an amazing car i know everyone like all the car journalists love it and every car journalist like owns one i feel like and, and there's a reason, right? Because it's super affordable, it's super inexpensive to maintain. And especially in today's market, the average price of a brand new car is over $45,000. This thing is $34,000. So it's significantly less expensive and you get amazing fuel economy, like I said, and it's just, it's an amazing car. So yeah, the Mazda Miata is still great to this day. Now that's gonna sum things up for our video on this 2022 Mazda Miata Grand Touring. Again, a huge shout out and thank you to the Mazda of Southtown for giving me some time with this Miata. Check out their inventory in the description down below. I will see all of you in that next video.